carcinoma of the esophagus is commonest in the Far East, including China and Japan. It tends to occur after the fifth decade. People at particular risk of developing carcinoma of the esophagus include smokers and heavy drinkers. Achalasia and the plumber vinson syndrome are also important predisposing conditions. This is the typical appearance of an esophageal carcinoma resulting in irregular shaped narrowing of the lumen. The commonest types of carcinoma affecting the esophagus are adenocarcinoma and squamous cell carcinoma. Rare malignant tumours include small cell anaplastic or oat cell carcinoma and malignant melanoma. Adenocarcinoma develops in the lower part of the esophagus. It is more aggressive and has a worse prognosis than squamous cell carcinoma. Adenocarcinoma may develop in an area of Barrett's esophagus and adenocarcinoma may have spread up into the lower esophagus from the stomach. This is an example of an adenocarcinoma occurring at the esophagogastric junction. The histological appearance of adenocarcinoma is characterised by malignant glands infiltrating the esophagus. Squamous cell carcinoma tends to occur in the middle and lower esophagus. It is associated with smoking and alcohol. Squamous cell carcinoma may present late with dysphagia and node spread early is common. Squamous cell carcinoma occurring in the upper esophagus may occur in middle-aged and elderly women associated with plumber vinson syndrome. This is the histological appearance of an infiltrating squamous cell carcinoma. Here is an example of a small cell anaplastic carcinoma of the esophagus. This is the histological appearance of a small cell anaplastic carcinoma of the esophagus. It is characterised by infiltrating sheets of small, dark, malignant cells. Benign tumours of the esophagus are uncommon. They include lyomyoma, lipoma, hemangioma, fibroma and, occasionally, squamous cell papilloma. Here we see an example of a lyomyoma of the esophagus.